Hallelujah. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Hallelujah. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Hallelujah. He's been a friend. He's made a way. He's opened doors. He saved my soul. And that tells me that can't nobody do me like Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and praise him with us. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Come on, put those hands together. Let's praise him together. Hallelujah.
Jehovah. Nobody can save. Nobody can heal. Nobody can heal. Nobody can heal. Nobody can heal. Nobody. 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 For he's my friend. Said he's my friend. Said he's my friend. Hallelujah. He shot first. at this time. Let's receive him by saying praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Nobody can't find nobody. There is nobody like Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's my friend. Thank you, Jesus. He's my friend. Praise him with all your heart, church. Praise him with all your heart. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Send your power, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Ain't nobody like Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You might try to find somebody, but there is nobody like Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo. That shall not come. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. 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 Praise him, church. Praise him. Praise him, ye people of God. Hallelujah. 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 You can search and search, but you won't find nobody. He's good for everything. <laughs> Woo! Some people is good for some things, but Jesus is good for everything. <laughs> if you're sick, he can heal you. If you're burdened, he can lift you up. If you don't have a job, he can give you a job. If you're sad today, he can make you happy. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, he's good for everything. Everything. There's nothing that he cannot do. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. He's my God. He's my Savior. He's my King. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. I can't find nobody. I ain't looking for nobody else. <laughs> nobody but Jesus. Mm. He is El Shaddai. He is the all-sufficient one. <laughs> and what you need, God has already got it. Hallelujah. <laughs> you don't have to send to the store or manufacture it, but he already got it. I was just waiting on you to call on me so I could give it to you. Hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. 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 I feel happy today. 
Mm. I feel happy today because God is supplying all of the needs of his people. Hallelujah. Sick today, he can heal you today. This is the day that the Lord has made. <laughs> we shall be glad and rejoice in that. Let us stand for prayer. If you have a prayer request, amen. Raise your hands to the Lord and tell him what you want. Remember, he's a God who has... Uh, you got it. <laughs> Father God, we raise our hands to you and thank you for the wonderful songs and praises and worship that have gone forth in Zion today. We thank you for our praise team, our musicians. We thank you for the saints of God who have come out of their homes and away from their houses and came to the house of God. We thank you for all those who are visiting with us and listening on live streaming. And we thank you for those who will listen to us by way of radio. We pray that the word that is spoken today will be anointed and will be blessed and will lodge in the hearts of the people and that it will bring forth fruit unto God. I pray for the saints who are sick in our church, hallelujah, that the Lord would heal them by the power of God. I pray for those who have had grief and sorrow and that you will help them and let them know that they have a comforter. They have someone to comfort them. And Jesus is his name. Bless the remainder of the service. Use us, Lord, for your honor and for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. If you have your Bibles, let us turn to Psalm 107, verse 18 through 22. Psalm 107, verse 18 through 22. Are you ready? Everybody ready? All right. We will read together, their soul abhorreth all manner of meat, and they draw near unto the gates of death. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saveth them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destruction. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men, and let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Our Sunday scripture text is Psalm 107 and 20. And it said, He sent His word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Hallelujah. And the title or thought that is in the message today is. We've already talked about it, but it's God's provision for his people. God's provision for his people. The word provision means the act or way of providing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And taking measures before time and also supplying what is truly needed by that individual. Hallelujah. He doesn't give us something that we don't need. He doesn't give us something that would be harmful to us spiritually. Sometimes he hides, holds back blessings that we think that we ought to have because of our faithfulness and our tithes and our offerings and 
all the other things that we do for the Lord, but he is very careful as to what he allows us to have. Amen. Right? Some people couldn't handle money. Some people couldn't handle uh, that Bentley that I was talking about. They'd have to take a ride in it. Hallelujah. But God don't let them get a Bentley because that would come between them and God and between coming to service and between having him as their Savior. Hallelujah. So he only gives us what we need. Our God provides for the whole creation. Hallelujah. Everything that is in the creation, he supplies what that creation needs. Amen. And I wrote some things down, and you probably could think of more, but the first one I thought was air, air, oxygen, hallelujah. Now, if God did not provide oxygen for the whole world, everybody would die. And if you go beyond the atmosphere that is around the world, you will die because they do not have oxygen. Hallelujah. Air. Did you thank him for air this morning? <laughs> and he also gave us the breath of life. Not only did he make Adam a living soul, but every day that we live, God gives us the breath of life. We breathe out carbon dioxide. We breathe in oxygen. Hallelujah. And it's just natural because we don't think about some of these things I'm talking about as a provision that actually comes from God. If he decides that he's going to cut off our breath, we die and we go away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He gives us life. He gives us life and energy and strength and activity of our limbs and all the things that we rejoice and enjoy with the Lord. He gave us some clothes today. Hallelujah. Yeah. He gave us some nice clothes today to wear to come to the house of God. He gives us shelter. He gives us protection from our enemies. And he provides healing for our body. And he delivers us from the things that could and would destroy us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those things he keeps away. Those things he has a fence around us and he has protection around us so that we are protected not only from our enemies but from the things that could destroy us either spiritually or physically. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a good God. I said he's a good God. <laughs> Hallelujah. You can clap for him. He's a good God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 107. Hallelujah. It's where our text is found. And... I'm going to give you some information about Psalm 107, and then we will move on. In Psalm 107, verse 1 and 2, he said, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Why? For he is good. Why else? And his mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. Verse 2, he said, let the redeemed, let the redeemed 
Those that are baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost, let them say so. Whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. The devil don't have you no more. He might attack your mind and your physical body with some things and try to make you think things that are lustful and bad and amen out of the will of God but he has no hold on the blood bought one he cannot put a spell on you he cannot make you do something that you do not want to do but a man or woman is tempted when they are tested by their own lust that is in their flesh but if you walk in the spirit with god on your side you will never have a problem hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. He said, let the redeemed say so. If he's done something good for you, you need to say so. If he healed your body, you need to say so. If he made a way out of no way, you need to say so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't hold your testimony back. Don't hold your praise back. Don't, amen, silence yourself and say, he did this for me, but I don't want to tell nobody. But if God done something good for you, you need to tell somebody about it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has delivered us. Psalm 107 is a psalm of thanksgiving to the Lord for his great works of deliverance to Israel. But he has also delivered David, and he has also delivered us. Hallelujah. We have been redeemed out of the hand of the enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know I have. I believe you have too. Everybody don't like you. <laughs> oh, they just love me. Well, they might love you in your face, but uh, please don't turn your back. Because... And please don't sneak up on them when they're on the phone. You might be surprised what people do when no one is watching. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm enjoying preaching there. Hallelujah. Whom the redeemed who have been redeemed out of the hand of the enemy. Hallelujah. And I'm sure that everyone today could actually have a testimony about how good our God is. Hallelujah. Point number two is God's provision for his people. Hallelujah. Psalm 107, verse 18 and 19. Hallelujah. He said in 18, their soul abhorreth all manner of meat, and they draw near unto the gates of death. Hallelujah. He's talking about people who are starving to death. They cannot get anything to eat. Hallelujah. First of all, he was talking about Israel, how they were in the wilderness, and they didn't have nothing to eat. They had to cry out unto the Lord and ask the Lord to provide something for me so I can eat. Hallelujah. The Lord heard their cry and he saved them out of all of their distresses. 
Hallelujah. How many of you have called upon the Lord and he saved you out of your distresses? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's his provision for you. He cares for the church. He cares for you. He cares for your family. He cares for your little babies. He cares whether you do well or not. God cares for us. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to give them their daily bread. They may not get filet mignon steak or T-bone steak or ribeye steak. They might have to eat some hot dogs and hamburger. What? God's people eating hot dogs and grammar. If that's all you got, and if that's all he gives you, please give thanks, eat all of it, and say, Lord, give me some more tomorrow. I wish I had a steak. No. <laughs> I wish I could go down to Outback and get me a steak. Hallelujah. But be thankful. Be thankful for what you have. And be thankful for what God gives us. Hallelujah. He knows when you're hungry. He knows when you lose your job. He knows when the economy goes bad. He knows when you have to spend at least three to five hundred dollars a week on grocery. Amen. I'm just preaching. But whatever we need, God's got it. Whatever you need, God's got it because he is a God that has everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Point number three. Psalm 107 and 20. He sent his word and healed them. And delivered them from their destruction. Hallelujah. Now actually this is the title or the scripture text for our message today. And the Lord gave this to me yesterday, when, or the other day, Friday, when I was at the meeting. I was sitting there and a voice said, he sent his word. And he healed them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He didn't have to come to the house. He didn't have to get out a bottle of anointing oil and pour it on them and say, Be ye healed in the name of Jesus, the God that we serve. The one we sang about today, the one we clapped our hands about, the one we lifted our hands about is powerful. All power belongs to God. There is nothing too hard for him. Well, I got this sickness and it won't go away. He don't have to come down from heaven. Pour anointing oil on you. All he has to do is speak the word and it will go away. Ooh. Hallelujah. Two examples if one is Hezekiah and the other one is the servant of the centurion. Write in your notes 2 Kings chapter 20. Verse 4 through 6, and Matthew chapter 8, verse 8. 
Hallelujah. Hezekiah got a word from the Lord. Set your house in order because you're going to die and not live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah came to him and said, The Lord said, Set your house in order because you're going to die and not live. Hallelujah. Hezekiah dropped to his knees and began to pray to the Lord. Lord, remember how much good that I have done for your people. Lord, remember how I've served you. Lord, remember how I've tried to walk in the ways of David, my father. Hallelujah. Please, Lord, don't take me out. Hallelujah. Please, don't let me die. Hallelujah. I'll serve you. I'll do the right thing. Don't let me die. I don't want to die. And the Bible said he wept sore. And when Isaiah got out to the patio or right outside of where he was, the Lord spoke to him through the prophet. And told the prophet, go back in and tell Hezekiah, I've heard his prayers, I saw his tears, and I'm giving him, giving him 15 more years. <laughs> Hallelujah. God sent the prophet to tell him. God sent his spokesman to tell him, you're not going to die. You're not going to leave here. Those boils are going to pop open when the figs are placed on them and you're going to be healed by a miraculous healing. It looks bad for you, but it's not as bad as it looks because God has the power to speak and send his word unto his people and they will be healed. <laughs> They will be healed. He don't have to come down from heaven. He's got me in the earth. He don't have to come down and lay hands on you. He doesn't have to call for somebody from some other country to come and lay hands on you. All he has to do is speak the word. Be healed, be healed, be healed. And it will happen because God has that ability. He sent his word and he healed them. Hallelujah. All we need to do is make sure that we're in the right place to receive it. All we have to do is make sure that he knows exactly what's going on and we got faith and confidence in him. We want to live. We don't want to die. Hallelujah. Just send your word, Lord. Send your word, Lord. Tell the people you don't have to die. You can live. I got healing in my voice. 
I got healing in my things that I've spoken in the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believe on his word. Believe on what he has spoken. And you can be here. Hallelujah. As the guy said, how do I know that I'll be back in church or in the temple in three days? Yeah, hallelujah. Isaiah said, you're not going to do it without a sign, so I'm going to give you a sign. Hallelujah. The sundial of Ahaz, hallelujah, is outside. And it's going to stop for a little while and not go down, even though it's run by the sun and managed by the sun, it's not going to move until God says for it to move. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God spoke to the son and said, go ahead, son. But he spoke to the dial that is measuring the son, stand still. Ah, shut up. It wouldn't go down until God spoke to the sundial and told it to go go down. Now, he said, well, how could that happen? It happened because of his word. Do you know how strong his word is? <laughs> Hallelujah. If he decrees something, it has to come to pass. He cannot let his word down. His word is forever settled in heaven. The worlds were framed by his word. Everything we see is being held together by the word of God. I don't care what the disease is or what the cancer is or what is going on. If God speaks a word and says you are healed. If he speaks to your mind while you're listening to this sermon and says you are healed, believe that you are healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He delivered them from their destruction. The thing that could kill them. The thing that could destroy them. The word. God's word. The word. Spoke and they were healed. But it also spoke and saved them from all of their destruction. This disease will not have power over you. This disease is not going to kill you. Get fear out of your mind. Catch the vision of what God has said. If there is a word from the Lord, hear it through the Holy Ghost. If God is speaking through his servant today, hear the word of the Lord. He healed them. And delivered them out of all of their destruction. Hallelujah. Mm. 
I believe that God gave me this message for somebody. I don't believe he told me this Friday night because I wrote it down while Mr. Foster was preaching. I wrote it down to make sure I didn't forget it. I came home and I was tired and I went to sleep, but I couldn't hardly sleep. I said, I got to find out where that's at. Because he wanted somebody to know healing is no problem for me. I don't have a problem with healing. It might be hard for the doctor to find the solution. It might be hard for the hospital to find the solution. And you might go to a specialist and even they don't know what the answer is. But God knows. And when we come up before him and are in his spotlight and under his attention, he has the power to speak the word. And you will be healed. Hallelujah. 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 Matthew chapter 8 and verse 8. The centurion had a servant that was sick. And came to Jesus and said, Hallelujah, we need you to heal him. And he said, I'm not going to ask you to come to the house because I am a man who has authority. I speak to one and he does it. I speak to another and, and he does it. Hallelujah. You don't have to Come to my house and lay your hands on him. Just speak a word. Shut up. Jesus spoke a word. And his servant was here. He asked him, what time, what time was that when that happened? <laughs> What, what was the time? Give me the time and the day and everything. Tell me about it. What time was that when that happened? They gave him the time and it was the exact same time that Jesus spoke it from his mouth. He was here. Now don't tell me God ain't a good God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will always confound those who think more, hallelujah, has more knowledge than him. And always deal with those who think they have more power than him. But they'll find out that they are Things they do is foolish compared to what the things he can do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're looking for the Lord to speak today the word only and the power that is in the word. If it hasn't done it already, will heal the person who needs the healing. Amen. Hallelujah. Mara Korea Samana. Ilia Bonona Sata Beshoni Gemaniki Shio Namana Muru. Tabas Ite Kebadi Esite. Mara Yisiti. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them out of all of their destructions. Hallelujah. I do not doubt God. Because I never tell what the Lord does for me, but in the last two days, I've had two miracles that have happened to me. And I don't want to share them, necessarily share them with you, but they were phenomenal. Two miracles. And then I went to church on Friday night, and he said, Amen, in my head, he sent his word and healed them, and he saved them, or delivered them from all their destruction. So what I'm saying today is not about what I know about situation, what I know about is going on, what I have firsthand information about. I'm talking about what the Lord told me. And I'm not picking out the setting and not if it's for who I really think one person is, I'm not trying to pick them out and make them put them on spot and all that. But there's a bunch of people that needs healing right now. That belongs to this church. And if God don't undertake for them, they're going to leave here when maybe they don't have to leave yet. Hallelujah. But the Lord told me to preach it, and I'm preaching it. <laughs> and I'm believing it, because I've seen the hand of God myself, and I know what he is able to do. I know. I'm not guessing and said, oh, Lord, you gave this to me so I can find out. I've already found out. I'm just passing the word along. <laughs> but whatever you need, whatever you need, God has it. And God wants you to have it. Hallelujah. He don't want to keep it up in heaven and, and in the place where you have to call on the name of Jesus six and seven times a day. If he wants to heal you, he can speak in this sermon. You can walk out of here healed today. Go over here. I know what I'm talking about. I ain't playing games with your mind, but I know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In my conclusion, hallelujah. Point number four is we need to offer the sacrifice of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. We need to offer up to God the sacrifice of of thanksgiving. Psalm 107, verse 21, Oh, that men would praise the Lord 
for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. He heals people and they don't get no credit. It don't change their lives and make them more spiritual. They give no glory and honor unto God. It was Dr. So-and-so that did it. Or they did this in the hospital. Hallelujah. And the psalmist is saying, why does God do all these miracles? And why does he do all these healing when he can't get no credit? There ought to be a, a serious breakout of praise. I ain't going to start no prayer service, but there should be a serious break out of praise and worship and thanksgiving to the God of heaven. If it had not been for him, I wouldn't even be here. Hallelujah. It was him that had mercy on me. It was him that brought me through. It was him that healed me. Ooh, Shana. What does God have to do before he can get some praise? Why are we so reluctant to praise the Lord? Why do we hold back on our praise for the Lord? As though nothing has happened. He gave me breath all day. Gave me oxygen. Gave me a nice home to live in. Gave me a car. Made me the man that I am today. And I'm going to sit down and so I let the rest of them start the hallelujahs in the church. But I ain't going to say nothing. But when we come to God's house, we need to give him the thanksgiving or the sacrifice of thanksgiving and pray. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he deserves the worship. And he deserves the pray. Hallelujah. If God done something good for you, always praise him. In this psalm, in about four or five different places, it's the same thing. Oh, that men might praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Hallelujah. Don't forget to give God some praise. That's all right. You can praise him. You can clap your hands if you want to. I'll stop long enough. I got one more scripture and then I'm done. But hallelujah. The last one is thou, this is the heading of it, thou hast healed me. Thou hast healed me. And it's in Psalm 30, verse 1 through 5, which is a companion scripture with 107 and 20. And it says, I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast made my foes, not made my foes to rejoice over me. 
O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. What did you bring David out from? O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive. Oh, Shana. Thou hast kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his. Give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Why? For his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy, joy is coming in the morning. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, shut up. David said, Thou hast healed me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I just want to thank you for being so good to me. You was my bread when I was hungry. You was my water when I was thirsty. Hallelujah. You was my shelter in the time of storm. Lord, 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 I just want to thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Woo, shada. Shada to Hallelujah.